hi there and welcome back so this is my continuation on api uh, tutorial where we are going to learn the rest assured how to automate the api testing so the, uh, starting with that today we will learn on what is the client server architecture what is http request and an http response so these three things are part of any apis that you are dealing with so let's first see what's a client server architecture if you ask google simply then if you go on the images tab you see these pictures of client server architecture pick any for example i pick the first one the client here is can be your laptop your mobile or your desktop whichever you are using um, and you use the internet and you ask something to the server so the client is the app the device that you are using and the server which gives you back the response for example i'm using my laptop so this is my this laptop is my client and the i have an internet service so i'm using it and the server that i'm going to talk to is the google server so if i ask google server give me something on client server architecture it is going to take this request to the google server located near my my laptop location the nearest location and it will send me back the response from there so i got back the response and i see the page whatever the server responded to me so so before we move to http request and the response part let's see what http itself means the http is known as the hypertext transfer protocol this is one of the protocol followed over the network over the internet this is used to fetch the documents on the web on the server so the http follows the client server protocols it this protocol is followed with the client server architecture and on the browser when you paste the url so in my case i pasted google.com the on the browser when you paste the url it identifies which server you are going to contact for the document so my server was google and i was asking for client server architecture now the server either returns in case if it doesn't find find what you want it returns file not found or if it finds it returns returns as success and returns the document attached in its response and when the document is attached in its response it is displayed on the web so this is a simple protocol for http now let's see what is http request is http request is used to send a document from the browser to the server so the document from the browser means from my laptop to the google server i'm sending a document this any http request contains three parts the request line the header and the body so let's use this api and see how we can use this uh, how you we can differentiate between the three parts of the http request so i'm using postman here and when i use that api and i put the url on my uh, the postman the first line the first part of the http request which is mandatory is the request line which is nothing but the method the method that you select for any call so actually the method defines what exactly you want to do with this api whether you want to get some information or you want to post some information on the server or you want to update some information on the server you want to delete some information from the server so there are many kinds of methods here we will mostly concentrate and which are highly used are get post put and delete so we'll be using all all of this in our examples in our future videos so this one first part is of the http request is the method which is the request line and it's always mandatory the second part of the http request is the header the header is actually the it comes in a form of key and a value pair wherein which contains some information which you want to send it to the server that you are calling you want to let the server know some information about the api for example one most common type of header is called as a content type and the value can be application json 
or any of this application XML. So this value defines when the server is called and when the API is called with this, the server understands that the language used, the type of the data used in this API call is, uh, is of type application JSON. Hence, um, this is one kind of headers are information. Headers can also have other uh, values like authorizations. But this is optional and not all API, API requires headers. The third and the last part of the HTTP request is the body, which is also optional. For, uh, for example, in case of get method, the body is um, highly not required. But in case of post or put, we usually put body and the body can be in form of a JSON file. It's actually the data that you want to post, you want to update on the server. So in, in case of our example API, we have no body. So let's make a call as we have already selected the method, the request line, the header and the body is optional and we have no body for our call. So when we make a call, we get the response successfully. So here it is. And so now if you, this may, this API is was of get API, but if I select a wrong request line, of course, this is not going to work. And hence I get the access denied. So we have to be sure that we select the correct request line, the correct headers, and that we put the correct data in the body. So this is part of the HTTP request. The same is now HTTP response. When we talk about HTTP response, it again contains three parts. The first is the status, second is the header, and the third is the body. The status is always mandatory for any call that you make, a status is returned which, which lets the client know whether the call was successful or not. So for any call, in case of HTTP response, the status is mandatory and in the headers are not mandatory but usually server do provide certain information to the uh, client always. Even if the client doesn't use this information, still the server provides. And the body is also optional. For example, when we make a success call, we get the status 200, we get certain headers, and we have a body in this case of the API. But certain APIs doesn't respond with, a, with any data. It, so in that case, the body is also optional and the headers are also optional in case of HTTP response. Only the status is um, mandatory. And this was all with the concept of HTTP request and response as a part of learning API. Thank you everyone and please comment in my comment section if this video was helpful to you then please give a like button.